Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to compare numbers with division problems. First let's write the symbols down which denote smaller than and larger than. So we know this one over here this is less than or smaller than equals to and you can say more than or greater than. Okay so let's have a look at our first example. We've got two sets of numbers okay on the left hand side we've got 54 divided by 6 on the right hand side we've got 56 divided by 8 so what is the first one on the left? 54 divided by 6. Now you should know this from your times tables. 54 divided by 6 is 9. How about this one? 56 divided by 8. 56 divided by 8. Well the answer is 7. So now we are comparing the 9 and the 7. Which number is smaller? That's simple, it is the 7. So 54 divided by 6 is greater than 56 divided by 8. Okay, we're going to move on to our second one. Now suppose this time round we've got this number on the left and we've got that on the right. So we've got a division problem on the left, but on the right hand side, we just have the number. Well, the same principle applies. We have to solve the one which is the division problem. Here we go. It is 48 divided by 4. What is 48 divided by 4? Again, you should know this from your 4 times table. It is 12. So now we are comparing the 12 over here with the 11 over here. Which number is smaller? It is 11. So therefore the arrow is pointing that way. Okay, let's have a look at one final example. Suppose this time we have this number here, 6 on the left, and we've got 28 divided by 4 on the right. So what's the first thing we do? Well, we have to solve this one on the right. On the left is just simply the number 6. We don't need to do anything at this stage with 6. 28 divided by 4. Now again, you should know this from your 4 times table. 28 divided by 4 is 7. So now we are comparing the 6 over here with the 7 over here. Which number is smaller? It is 6. So the arrow is pointing this way. And that is how we work out compare how sorry how we compare numbers with division problems. Solve the problem first and then you will be able to work out which is larger and which is smaller. 